Hello friends, today I am going to explain you about the connections of a simple brushless DC motor. It uses a power of 48 volts and there are four main components of this connections. The first one is motor, as I said it runs on a 48 volts. A controller which is required to run that brushless DC motor. Without controller a simple DC motor can be run but brushless DC motor cannot be run without a controller. The third one is a battery, as I am showing you a 12 volt battery but uh, we will require 4 units of this 12 volt battery to generate uh, 48 volts the fourth component is a throttle as you can see the throttle has two wires two type of wires this throttle has a switch which is used for reversing the direction of the motor so now i will be telling you how to connect these wires and how to get the connections as you can see there are two ports in this controller the first port has only three wires and it is very simple to connect as you can see in the motor also there are two wires uh, these three wires green yellow and blue goes to the coil of the motor and as you can see you can simply connect to uh, connect it to the color codes of the motor blue to the blue one you can just screw it up green to the green one like this and yellow to the yellow one so these are for the coils of the motor as you can see in the second port there are too many of wires so many people confuse that what kind of wires are these and where to connect these wires these two connections are going to be connecting the 48 volt battery power power pack this red is obviously a positive one you can connect it to the positive terminal of the battery and this black is the negative one you can connect it to the negative terminal of the battery not this battery the pack of 48 volts to the black terminal now as you can see this port has 5 wires so what are these 5 wires these are the 5 hall effect sensors that are being installed in this motor and respectively we have 5 wires of the same color coding from the motor also these are the output connections of the hall effect sensor from the motor and you just have to simply connect it like this and you just have to uh, keep in consideration that the same color coding is going to be matched with the like yellow with the yellow, red one with the red and like this if any of the color coding reverse then the position of sensor will be reversed and the motor will not start so as you can see our motor is connected we have done the connection to the motor now the rest of the wires apart from battery and motor these are very simple we are remained with only three type of wires now these two ports are going to be connected to the throttle as you can see the throttle has the same respectively three colors black red and green you just can connect this green red and black to the these three ports like this what these three uh, three wires are like this is a ground which is having zero volt this is positive which is plus five volt and this is the receiver of the voltage if you vary the voltage from zero to five similarly you will get the variation in speed in the motor so you just can simply connect this wire codings to this you will get a similarly female socket you can just insert it into this second is you as you can see that this is a reverse switch is a it has it is a simple switch that we use in our homes and it has the two wires these two wires are going to be connected into this port this color coding of yellow and black this has a female socket you will get a male socket with these wires you just have to insert it into this there is no polarity in this so you can just insert it in any direction like this in this or this in this there is no polarity okay now we are remaining with this wallet one and this like two kind of wallet wires and one sky blue wires the wallet one with a white shading is a useless wire and this sky blue is a useless wire because it is connected to the speedometer in electric rickshaw that we are not going to use here this wallet is called the ignition wire ignition wire you can you have to connect this into this battery positive terminal when you will you can make a switch igni ignition switch from any vehicle and connect it to the, this wire and you can just ignite your vehicle to start 